everyone, I'm back to uni in the next few days, so I'm going to pack and study and prepare for uni today, so I hope you enjoy. I started by making a to-do list, you know the drill. I decided to separate the tasks out into three categories, study, pack and other. First item on the agenda was to review and update my university packing list. I have an Excel spreadsheet with everything, in theory, that I need to take to uni with me. Delivery! Excuse the brief interlude. Okay, I've just taken the first of two deliveries I'm in charge of today. Such a responsible adult. I got back to updating my packing list and then realised I was actually adding far more items than I was removing. So yeah, fun fact, I don't pack light. The hairdresser's here, so... I'll be back in a mo. My sister was having her hair cut first, so I got back to my laptop. My point is, I'm very prone to forgetting things when I go to uni, so I like to tick everything off this list. And voila, the finished product. I then started going through my physics field selection notes. Highlight, annotate, write flashcards, repeat. Then I popped off to have my hair trimmed slash fixed. Let me tell you more. So me and Lydia have both had our hair fixed because I had a traumatic haircut on Monday. Lydia had a traumatic style. It was yellow. But now our hair has been We've gone back to our old hairdresser. And what a relief. Mm -hmm. She just came round. And I'm gonna carry on studying, so I'm gonna have to ask you to leave, Lydia. I'm gonna go write my personal statement. Yeah. Wish her luck. <laughs> Don't need it. And back to the grind. So I've decided to go through these lecture notes in particular because we're starting with electromagnetism in my physics module next year, so I want to be really solid with the first year stuff relating to that. And here's the satisfying moment I ticked it off my to-do list. Okay, so now I need to sort through this whole stack of folders from last year. And I think there's A-level stuff in there too, and all those folders up there. Wish me luck. This is just such a pile of junk. I swear, I can't be the only person who does this when they get home from uni. Like, I get home from uni, dump my stuff in the corner, and just do not sort through it and I have major regrets. Okay, I've made some progress. This is what I'm taking to uni. So this is all my folders. I've got loads of empty ones that I've taken out all the stuff that I no longer needed so I can put my new work in there. Got a spare box for packing up after lunch. And this is all old stuff that I'm gonna keep in case ever I need my earth sciences or chemistry lecture notes. But let's face it, probably won't ever look at this stuff again. It's gonna go up in the attic somewhere. That's good. Going well. Time for a quick lunch. I watched some suits on Netflix while I ate. For anyone who hasn't seen it, I would highly recommend. So we've had a slight change of plan. My sister has left her train ticket at the train station, her season ticket that she uses for college. So I've now got to go retrieve it so she doesn't have to pay 40 pounds or whatever for a new one. This video has somehow turned into a drive with me, did not see that coming, but you know, come join me. Radio, let's go! <laughs> Do you know what, I don't even like driving. I cycle in Cambridge, I can't take my car to uni. So, I'm rather out of practice. We've had no luck. 
The ticket office was closed as well, so I couldn't even ask if it had been handed in. Okay, well, that was a fun trip to nothing. All good. We're back. Next thing is to go do some questions on gravitational fields. I got the questions up on my laptop and worked in silence. completed the questions I wanted to get done and ticked them off my to-do list. I decided to quickly go through my packing list and highlight everything I'd boxed up earlier so I knew what was in. Next I got together the shoes and bags I want to take to uni and put them all in a box. tedious parts of packing now, the clothing. I need to make sure I have everything because I love my clothes a lot. So I'm going to take them all and pile them up ready to go in the suitcase. Okay, first lot. This lot is all of my stuff that I wear to formals. Next lot. <laughs> Okay, so I'm on to writing birthday cards for everyone in the family because all their birthdays are while I'm away at uni. So, sneak peek. Um, I'm not going to show you anymore because they might watch the video. <laughs> or they might not, I mean. <laughs> it's maybe it's wishful thinking, thinking my own family would watch the video, but we'll see. I'm going to get going. <laughs> Success, I've written them all. Here is my pile of cards. Okay, so writing cards was actually the easy bit because I don't have presents for my mum, my dad, or my auntie yet. My sister is sorted, but the other three, I've got no idea. So I'm just about to go online and figure out what I'm getting them. So it started off well, like I actually made it onto the John Lewis website. But then my friends Skyped me and I got a little bit distracted. Ah, oh, look, I've got distracted, and here are these guys. I was supposed to be organising birthday presents for the family. Instead, I'm talking to these guys. Oh, what's the word? Priorities. Maisie, you've just started uni. How's it going? Okay, it's going all right. I yeah? haven't really done anything. Excellent. Leah, you, you've been at home as usual. How's it going? At home? I've just been all day at home. <laughs> Okay, well that's the update from these guys. Say bye! Do you know what though? By our standards, it was actually quite a short Skype call. I had some discipline and dragged myself away from the phone to get some more stuff done. So I've just had a delivery. This was outside my door. And apparently it's my going away to uni present. The waffle mix! Very, very exciting. So I think we're having dinner in like half an hour's time. So the plan is I'm gonna go through my wave selection notes now and then after dinner, I will finish up my packing bits. Check out my very exciting dinner. Mm -hmm. 
After dinner, I headed back upstairs and packed up some more bits and pieces from around my room. And here I'm sorting through a box of decorations for my uni room. I've collected lots of stuff over summer that I'm going to pin up on my notice board. And of course, my leopard print giraffe figure could not be left behind. Then I shifted everything into a pile on the floor since I needed to use my bed to sleep in that night. I ticked my last few bits off my to-do list having completed all my tasks for the day. Then I made an impromptu decision to do a face mask because why not? Oh my god it smells of honey and it just... I love this face mask, I've never tried it before but boy does it smell good. Then I got ready for bed because I was very tired. Make sure you like, subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you soon.